everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a reading on shiny it's been a while since I did one and with Taemin coming out of the military service I felt like it was time to do one uh, I decided to leave their energy alone for a while so but now it felt like an appropriate time so here we go we're gonna start with my regular tarot deck first and just see what we get let's do past present future Wow, okay, exactly three cards. Interesting. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so let's start with the past here. We have the Queen of Wands, which is like very much taking charge of the situation. Um, I see this as them like just taking charge of their future, like what they want, especially when it comes to like their solos, like. What they were doing with, like, their solo projects was exactly what they wanted. It wasn't anything overly pushed by the company. Like, that's what I get. Is that they're being a lot more direct with dealing with the company, and this is what... And I see this as them... Be a lot more commutative about their like desires for the music. Mm. Like the words are like really difficult at the moment. Why don't words want to come out? <laughs> okay. That's his thing here. They're taking a lot more direction in their music. If that makes sense. That's what I'm trying to say. Like words we're not functioning there for some reason. <laughs> so for a clarifier, we have the Four of Swords in reverse. So in the past, there was a lot of like bur issues with burnout and like it was very straining for them. I think before they started taking more control in being a lot more direct with the company, it was very difficult for them. And I could explain what was just happening when I was trying to explain it, is that they weren't able to like even properly communicate. Because of the burnout, perhaps. Like, what they wanted, they couldn't say. But then, slowly, they started taking over that Queen of Wands energy. And that kind of pulled them out of this Four of Swords in reverse here. So, it's just interesting. <laughs> Let's go into the present, though. In the present, we have the chariot. Uh, obviously, chariot is usually a sign of, like, a lot of news coming. We already know that there's going to be a lot coming with Taman coming back. Um, also, the, chari the chariot can also be uh, very strong, like, 
movement of any kind. So we've seen in the past that they started taking charge with the Queen of Wands. Now the chariot is like they're full steam ahead. So possibly they took over more about their music. And what we're going to see now is what they worked on in the past, what they made happen or have been working on making happen while waiting for Taman to come back. So whatever they're producing next feels like something that's been a long time coming. I don't know what it is exactly, but this is definitely a concept or like songs that they've had like on the back burner for a very long time and now they're bringing them forward. Because to clarify, we have the four of coins, the four pentacles. Um, it's for some reason sideways. So I'm going to take both sides of this card for this. Like, I feel like these are songs that they've held on to for a very long time. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> uh, a while back, actually, the whole reason I did this reading was I had like a weird dream. Something about a weird little box. Um, that, like, someone was keeping away, like, in a closet. And I'm not going to go into detail about the box, but I feel like this could be possibly music that was kept inside that box that's going to be released. Uh, that's a very strong potential here with this hoarding. It makes me think that someone has been keeping these for a very long time. And now they're going to release them. And this doesn't feel like solo type songs. This is definitely group songs. Um, and on the opposite side of this card. Yeah, that's what this means. Um is letting go of the old, giving to others, and making large purchases. I see this as very much being like they are letting go of holding back this music. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, there's like a lot of information coming in at once. And I'm trying to filter it <laughs> because like it's just confusing me because it's like there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot happening very quickly. So possibly once Taming comes back, like they'll have an album released pretty quickly after. That could be the other thing that could be happening here. I want one more clarification. I have the Nine of Wands as well, which is pushing through. Oh. Hold on. My battery wants to die. There we go. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> oh, they got super bright. Oh, that's terrible lighting. Oh, well. Ugh. Forget it. So, Nine of Wands is definitely... Um, this is like pushing through energy. I feel like they're going to be like doing a lot in a short period of time. And with that, I think there will be like some... Like mental drain that comes from doing so much so quickly. Like basically, Taman's gonna come out, and probably within three months, you'll see an album. Like they're gonna be like working very hard once he comes out. That's kind of what I'm seeing as potential here. What are you doing? Hi, wiggle wiggle. You wiggling your tail at me. <laughs> Wanna come say hi? 
Come here. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> He's very needy. You're always interrupting me when I'm doing readings. Why? 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 Yes, thank you. Okay, go back down. I would leave you up here, but there's not enough room. No, you gotta go down. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Alright. I need my glasses back on, even though they're getting terrible reflections, but I can't see without them. <laughs> I, mean, I could go put my contacts in, but it, that would just require me to start all over. So, moving on, because I'm getting distracted, is the Five of Swords here. Oh, I don't want to talk about this. I really don't. <laughs> um, this is, feels like something legal, and I don't know what about. It's just like some sort of legal conflict coming up. I think this kind of I can't reveal too much about it oh I hate it when this happens sometimes I get a lot of inf information and I can't let me see if the cards come out if the cards come out I'll say it what is this battle of sorts conflict Whoa. Okay. There's a lot of cards here. Okay, so the first card I saw that came out was a Justice card, which is cause and effect, the truth. Um, I don't know when this is happening. This could be quite a ways out yet. But there is something that's going to be revealed about the past that um, may lead to something legal. I'm not sure. This is definitely like a truth that is going to be shared that I think could be quite shocking for people. This is something I've seen before in just other readings I've done on them that haven't been for the channel. So it's like I don't want to say too much about it because I'm not sure when it's going to happen. Because we do have the seven of coins here, the seven of pentacles in reverse. So this is setbacks. So I feel like this is something that has like almost come out before and then it gets like stopped. And then a couple years later it happens again and it gets stopped. So it's like this is something that's been a thing for a very long time. And it hasn't come out yet but eventually it will come out and it's you can't really stop this because we have the magician here which is fate and for me this does feel like this may end up in their favor because yeah this is definitely something that I've seen over and over again and there are more videos out there that go that talk about some things about the past that are a little bit more gossipy and I don't want to talk too much about those because honestly it's out there if you want to go look for it but I see there are some truths to it 
let me put it this way. There are definitely some truths to some things that have been said about the past. So I feel like there... This is something that's eventually going to come out. You can't stop this forever. And it will <laughs> get revealed. <laughs> well, wait. That's definitely going to happen. Because following up when I got the Justice card, it was followed up by the Nine of Coins, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands, the Fool, Ace of Wands, and lastly, the Five of Coins. Um, I'll get to the Five of Coins in a minute. So basically, like, when this comes out, like... Honestly, you see Shiny in, like, their ultimate power. Like, I feel like people may try to speak out and try to do something financial towards them, but they are going to be blocked. Like, somebody wants to do something financially legally, but... Given, like, the amount of other cards here, I don't think they're going to be able to. Like, it feels like there's a very strong chance that if somebody does try this, it won't go well. Because, like, the energy I see them in is you're not going to be able to touch them any of this. Like, anything negative is not going to be able to affect them. Because, like, though you are going to be, like, when someone is in their ultimate, like, spiritual state, it's hard to pull them into anything negative. Like, when someone is in that sort of energy. It's like people try to drag them down. But you can't because you... You can't even touch them. Because, like, what I'm seeing is, like, this weird... Like, I wouldn't say weird, but I would say... sort of... whitish light around them. Whereas, like, if people try to, like pull them down. Like, I'm seeing, like, literal, like, ropes being thrown at them, trying to pull them back down. Because they're not even physical, it can't be touched. Like, because there is nothing physical to grab onto, like, nothing, like, sort of... What are you eating? Um... Because to pull someone down, you have to have something to grab onto. Like, you have to have something negative to grab onto. First. Like, but if there's nothing there, if you can't even get a hook into the person, you can't drag them down. Like, this is a very deep spiritual meaning here. And I'm not quite sure what this all means, but it definitely means something. What exactly, I'm not quite sure, because it's a very weird image. <laughs> I don't know who is all involved in this. Like, this is... It feels very large. Like, this might be multi... Like parties involved in this here. We do have the Ace of Wands, which is Breakthrough. But like I said, like, whatever this is, I mean, it may be, like, something that goes on for a pretty long time. Like, this isn't something that's, like, revealed and then it's over. This is something that gets dragged out. But eventually there is, like, a breakthrough and they're able to sort of have, like, a restart. Interesting. Um, we also had the lovers come out, which is kindred spirit, desire, and connection. I really have absolutely no idea what this is about. 
<laughs> this seems like a totally separate information here. I mean, at this point, they're all getting older. I wouldn't be surprised to see someone enter a relationship. Because they've... I mean, they're adults. Like, they've been in the industry a long freaking time at this point. I mean... Gosh, they should be able to have, like, relationships. No, leave the bill alone. Leave it. I see you there. Yes. <laughs> Puppies are naughty. Yes, I'm calling you naughty. He likes to grab things off my desk. No. Um, we also have the Two of Cups here, uh, which is mutual respect and equality. And Nine of Cups is dreams come true, satisfaction, and abundance. So whenever this happens, it's not, it will be in their favor. And a lot of good things will come after this period. That ended up being pretty. <laughs> that was a lot. That was a lot of ones. Okay. Let's see what else I can get about the situation with the literary witches here. Oh, this is... I'm going to take the ones that fall. Okay. First, I'm going to show the cards and I'll talk about it. We have the book here. Milk. Skull. in. Octavia E. Butler. Um, this card is a future card, so this is going to be talking about the future here. So let's look at this future situation, because I'm not familiar with this deck as much yet. Okay. Yeah, okay, so the book talks about a revelation, hope, and ignorance. I see this is something being revealed. I've already talked about that. Um, next, we have the milk, which is nourishment, parents, and nostalgia. Um, this actually could be the music that's going to be released really soon. It's going to have very strong, like, nostalgic um, element to it as well. And we also have the skull. What is the skull? Transition, reality, grief. Oh, God. Why do I do this every time I read them? Every time. <laughs> this always comes up, and I really hate talking about it at this point, because it's talked about so much. Of course, my washing machine's making a ton of noise. Oh, uh. Let's give it a minute. Alright. Okay, we're good. So, at this point, I shouldn't really have to talk much about the past with the grief. I mean, we all are aware of it. And the other pen potential I see here is what they're going to be releasing next may be music that have come from that period of when things were still pretty raw for them. And there may potentially be some music that they had before that was never released that may also be included in this album. And that might be the sort of nostalgia energy I'm getting. I didn't really want to talk about it, even though I was already getting it before. Um, that's a very strong potential, I see. So, I don't want to dig too much into it.
All right, I'm going to stop. At least with that. So, <laughs> uh, let's go into guidance. I need some guidance. <laughs> I need guidance on this video. This is the longest check-in I've had because they always are a lot to handle. Okay, that makes absolutely good sense. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to continue talking about this because it's not it's not done until I finish. <laughs> so, this is going to keep happening until I say it. So, this is the 20 card, the step out card. We have 8, the shaman spiral, and 18, the weavers. Um, I know, I know. I know, it's my washing machine. It's okay. I know, it makes lots of noise, puppy. It's okay. So 20 here is courage and things that have been hidden. Uh, this kind of ties back to the first part of the reading where I talked about the box. The box has been sort of just sitting there for a very long time. And it's going to take a bit of courage to release some of this. So that's what this is all about. And next is the Shaman Spiral, which is awareness. Precise and connection. I mean, I feel like there's going to be some element of, like, spiritual awareness in releasing this. Like, there is some awareness that they have of, like, the power of the music they're going to release. There's something very powerful about it. And they're very much aware of how much is there. And we have 18 fate manifestation and decisions. Um, yeah, but this is a very like active decision to release this when they do. Like, this is something very planned out. Like I said, this was not something that they just decided to release on, like, last minute. This is something they've wanted to do for a very long time. And again, this is fate as well. It's like what I said with the future. It could actually be related to what they're going to release soon. Um, like, this is not something that can be stopped. This is something that was always going to happen. This is something they've wanted to do and they've manifested being able to do for a very long time. So I hope everybody can be open and respectful to it when it does get released. So I'm actually going to go back to an old favorite here, which is the Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Um, I just grabbed it from the deck and from my little shelf, and that's what came out. Okay. What else is going to come out here? Um, this album may come out in the summer, which makes sense since Taming gets released in March. So give it three months, your March. It's about the March. April, May, June. You're getting at the beginning of summer. I can't even remember the months of the year. <laughs> okay. So. That might be when this all gets released. It's going to be a very important month. In general, we have the Traveler. Move in a new direction. The Trader. Exchange energy to create abundance. And the Fire Guardian. Ignite your passions. So yes, th this is going to be... It's very much a passion project. Um, that's quite obvious at this point. Um, Traveler, this is going to be actually be something very different for them, obviously. And we have the Trader, 
exchange energy to create abundance. I mean, they're making music. Of course they're exchanging energy to create abundance. Like, that's quite obvious. So, um... Yeah, they're going to put a lot of energy into this album that they're probably going to release in the summer. It's going to be very different from their previous music. And it's going to have a lot of passion and emotion to it. Given what I already previously said about what this album could be like. It makes sense to me. So... That's kind of all I have. Um, I talked about some things I wasn't planning on talking about for this reading, so I guess the things that needed to come out came out, and I appreciate you guys watching this and continue watching it. Um, on another note, if anyone is, like, not... If anyone is anyone still interested in getting more messages about um, this, because I still think I could go back and revisit the very first video I made. And I feel like there could be some different things that I may be able to do now versus that video when I first did it. It was one of my earliest videos. I wasn't nearly as experienced with this as I am now, obviously. So I feel like that might be something I revisit eventually. I haven't really decided if I want to do it again. But I may do that, like, give it a few weeks and let me think about it. And I may release another video, like a continuation of that video or a revisitation of it. To see what sort of things may came out now versus then. So, we'll think about that. <laughs> and I want to thank you guys for watching. And please go check out some of my other videos. Um, this is a lot longer than some of my other check-ins that I released recently. Uh, this is just... There's a lot more I was coming on. And this was something that was a little bit more deeper than what I had expected. Well, I kind of knew, but I wasn't sure if all of it was going to come out which things did come up. So I wanted to thank you guys for watching and your continued support and go check out some of my other videos and don't forget to subscribe and also check the notification bell because I was inactive for quite some time. So I feel like a lot of videos aren't, you're not getting notified of new videos. So if that's happening, please, like, do the little bell thing again. Because there's a chance that it may be because I was inactive for so long. So, bye. Mm -hmm.